Hey, what's up guys, Visa here, and welcome to episode 6 of the Burnley career mode, and today we're going to be kicking off straight at Turf Moor against Aston Villa, and we are doing really well in the league, we had a shaky start, a loss against Chelsea in the first game, but right now we're in 5th place, and we're currently contending to be in the top 4, and... I, I don't know how the hell it's going on. Hopefully you do keep on his form for the long run. Hopefully you do manage to do really well this season somehow. But starting off, we are playing Aston Villa Turf more. And this is going to be an interesting game. It's Aston Villa, they're a very um, unpredictable squad to play against in FIFA. And they've got, they are, they're a pretty good team in FIFA, so I'm kind of willing to play them. But start off, they had the first chance. And Wyman, or Wima, I don't know how to pronounce, I don't know how to pronounce his name, as a chance. Goes over the bar, but Jukovic... Goals on one on one, and what can he do? He just across from goalkeeper, pretty easy. One 0 up in the 23rd minute. Jukovic um, just showing his, showing us his class. Him having a bit of a mess around with um, Shifki and Aston Villa. They had none of that. They want to come back and they score, which unfortunately, well, fortunately for me, it was offside. Thank goodness, because we really want to keep this win up. We want to make Turfmore a fortress. And this is what we try and do. Shifty could have made it 2 0, but it hit the post. Very unfortunate of him. And we have another chance in the 42nd minute. Just Shifty was going to do here. He's going to just work outside him. Very easily done. And it's a brilliant save of Guzan. Uh, now, this is when we just keep. I mean, after the first few chances, Aston Villa did seem to get a bit tiresome. And Ings, he, he probably could have made that 2 0. But Shifty, off the rebound, makes it 2 0. And that is surely is it, lads. 52nd and 57th minute, we're in a comfortable position. What else can we do? And we could have made it 3 0 with Ings, nice little work around, and deflected right into the path of Shiki, in which we got ourselves our own offside goal. So, two offside goals in one game, that's pretty insane. But unfortunately, with that, Aston Villa took that and moved on to the 84th minute, in which um, Clark to Kozak and was it? Ah, I don't know what the fuck he did, but he just uh, he just didn't shoot. He just didn't shoot. Unfortunately, well, fortunately for us, I keep saying unfortunately. But in 90th minute, Aston Villa does end up getting their goal. Delph, this is what legendary does. Just passing around when it when they are in these sort of situations outside the box, you just you just can't get the ball and just just hope that he mess up. You just can't get the ball away from him. That's what legendary does. But we do end up winning the game two one. We don't mess it up. We do end up getting a two one win, three points. And the big W. So that is a 2 1 victory against Aston Villa. Moving on straight to Newcastle at home again. Kind of weird that two home games in a row. But lads, it is snowy. Oh my days. If you notice at top of the screen, you see that it was snowy. Not anymore, of course. With this being changed around the squad a bit, we're going to be putting on Barnes and uh, Barnes and Volks, giving them a run about. Just seeing what we can do because you know we want to um, keep a close eye on the fitness levels in our squad, make sure that it's all good, and getting right into the game. So look at this, just a two, turf mode just looks insane, snowy. I don't know why this game was just really nice, really fun to play in. Even though it was snowy, it was, it was sort of pain in the arse to play in. It just looks so good, and we did have our first chance in the ninth minute. Jones comes up, he's gonna run around him very easily, cuts inside, surely, and what a what, what a save of Tim Crow. What an absolutely brilliant save but with, with Barnes outside the box Barnes with his first chance can he score and stops nice little fake shot and what a finish off Barnes I'm probably not gonna, probably not gonna be playing him that much because we have five strikers which I could choose which is Ings, Zukovic, uh, Barnes, Sordell and Volks and Oh, what was that? What was that chance? He did end up getting a free kick. The pass it showed De Jong, Amiobi, and I thought that was a penalty. I thought that was a penalty. Fan goodness it wasn't. He had a free kick, and, well, Suzuka just blasted it over the ball. Thank God. And we are still 1-0 up. Now, in the 34th minute, they had another chance. Anita comes outside the box. That sounds really wrong. <laughs> Suzuka to De Jong, and he just puts it wide. And we are still 1-0 up. When the 45th minute comes, and... It come on, it's out of time. Barnes, brilliant free roll to Jones. Jones is away. Can he make it f two? And he does. Jones, um, every, every single time that I've tried him and put him in the squad for fitness levels, he seems to do really well. And come on, he does look a bit like Dobby a bit. Uh, I just noticed, like, oh yeah, that's a bit like Dobby. 64th minute comes and CC, he should have scored that. And no, Newcastle's having none of it. They were having chance after chance after chance. And it was just getting so frustrating. Well, I, I just got to get the ball off them. And look at this. Gabella 
Uh, what's Cabello doing? Pass it to Amiobi. Cabello again. And just nothing. Tom Eaton was a god this game. And we needed all the help we can get to keep this win. 87th minute comes Cabello. They're trying to do the KSI against me. I can't even fucking speak. They're doing root one techniques. And, well, I do that. Um, I don't know how to explain it. 90th minute. And look at Cissé. He was going mental. Even though it was, well, it wasn't a winner. It was to make it 2-1. And we do end up winning the game, so that celebration was pretty much meant for fuck all. It was a, it was a very very cheap goal to give away. Just I just basically passed it to him. It was sort of late at night, so my concentration levels was in the high. Um, after the game, we had a management offer of Northern Ireland, and of course I wasn't really that um, com you know, confident with Northern Ireland, so of course rejected it. And hopefully wait for some other teams to come very soon. I don't mind uh, man managing a team, but it's going to be somewhat decent. No offence to any Northern Ireland fans who watch me. And get straight into the last game, which is against Cupiot, Loftus Road. And <sighs> just let, let's go. Okay, so everyone's all meeting up. Fourth minute comes. Austin down the wing. Charlie Austin, he used to be a clavard. And, well, they hit the bar. She not Charlie Austin went to Cupiot. And, well, it's sort of weird how it all works out that we're all back in the Premier League. Austin again has another chance. Will he score against us? No, he won't. He turned with a brilliant save. And I don't think Austin's going to get his goal. But who, who else is going to score? But Bobby fucking Zamora. Okay? 1-0 to QPR. 40th minute. It, it was deserved at this point. I, at least I'm someone glad that Austin didn't score. But Bobby Zamora, come on. Off he down the wing with his trickery. And... What if I told you that that was a red card? That was a red card. At least a yellow. But no, the referee thought differently as a red card. I ain't not comparing him because it wasn't for me. And after that, and for that, we got a free kick. Heads it out, uh, punch outside the box. Shackle, surely, and well, disguised because well, it was a centre back. And lads, that was our only chance in the game. I swear to God, it it was late at night. I was wasn't concentrating at all. They have they have a chance here, Austin. He tried to pass it to Traore as he skies it, and that's it. It goes all the way down to minute. Nothing happened. We only had one chance in the entire game, and there's a 1 0 loss to QPR, and that's just that dropping points to, to teams like QPR. We can't do that. And you're going to see the stats in this stat. It's just so annoying. Look at this. Seven shots, and we only had one shot. And oh god, it was late at night, lads. I'm not going to uh, do excuses. It was a terrible, terrible game of me, and that shows how legendary it can be at times. That it's just, a, that it's just insane. Uh, next episode, lads, we're going to be starting off at Southampton. They're going to be coming at Turf Moor. As we do make Turf Moor a fortress, let's do this. Shalabog did get an injury, but I believe that was um, not for too long, only for a few days or two weeks. It wasn't long at all. So, lads, let's go to next episode. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Chris, and I'll see you next time.